Hey everybody, so we're going to be talking about RDAs, tanks, um, give a little information about um, how they work, you know, what kind of coils you could do with them. I'm going to show off some of my accessories for the tanks and my accessories and coils for the um, RDAs. Um, I'm going to show you uh, some of the tools they do have, you know, precision screwdriver, stuff like that. So please stick around and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, so we're going to talk about some RDAs, um, pull out some of the stuff I have, move these batteries over. This is another extra ring. This is my wife's um, Royal. So I'll move that one there. Here's a tank. An RDA. It's a ghost RDA. Royal her horse. I I have a lot of RDAs, so. I think the ones that are Raptor tanks. Yeah, that's a tank. This is a Kangertak tank. It's one of my favorite tanks is the Kangertak. This is an Aspire tank. one is a this is a small little uh, Kanger tank also but this one is for one of those vape pens because this is what I started out on and it's got a it's got a swivel head a swivel tip okay open the side of the pouch RDAs come in all kinds of sizes. This is my original Zephyr Buddha. So I'll put this one right here. It's actually a little smaller. This one's a 24. I think this one's a 28 millimeter. These two are two different sizes, the same one. This is a mini, this is a full size. This is also a matching RDA for the Stingrays. Um, it's got changeable faces. You can actually get a Stingray face. I have a little um, knight on it right now. This is my Tobacco Turbo V2. This is my Plum Veal. Um, this one is my turbo one this is it's been in the bag a while I don't remember what it was called oh, okay here it is it, this is my mutation XV4 this one is another turbo this is a turbo 3 this one is a Hellboy This one is a Goliath Vicious Ant. Uh, Buddha V2, which I demonstrated on the last video. The original Buddha. They changed on Buddha 1. It, this whole cap comes off. It's one piece. On the Buddha V2, they made it where you can actually take the the tip out. So that was one reason I like the V2. This is uh, just a cheapie. I think I got it at Valor Vape. Just has a little American flag on it. Oh, this is a tugboat. It's 
it's not a generic it's actually a tugboat this one is a goblin 2014 model it's got the little ghost from like pac-man this one is a mooch it's got a little wolf on it i have a couple of these royal purples or these um royals i don't remember what the h stands for I've, I've got a dark forest green one, a gold one. Uh, I think they're in the bag, the backpack bag. So here's the little bag I was talking about. Yeah. Black, a green. This is for the mini. This one right here. This kit right here is for this one. You can actually put different rings on it, uh, different tips, stuff like that. So put this one right here. It'll stay. It might not stay. This one is the V2, which is the larger one, which is this one. This one goes to this one. It's got tips different rings, plastic tip, metal tip. Um, I also have another kit in here. This is for the Buddha. Um, different rings and attachments. Just because I didn't want to lose anything. Okay. Then this one is my wife's. I have the green one. Take it out. So I like this one. This one is actually a really dark green. And then I have the black. Just straight black and gold. These are oh, Royal Hunters. That's what they are. I like the Royal Hunters, they're very nice. My wife loves this Royal Hunter. She likes it, it's kind of like a turquoise color. So that's those. Put these back in the bag. What's in here in the front of the bag is just a couple little small tool kits. This one, I don't, I remember it was given to me. I don't even know where it came from. This one, it's a performance kit, 33 piece kit that I got at O'Reilly's. And then, what's in here? And here is some kits, you know, seals, stuff like that, glass diffusers, and a pair of Fiskies. Scissors, then you know, like sewing scissors. Put these back in the bag. Kind of organized this whole bag so that way everything would fit in it the way I wanted. These are accessory stuff. Some other tips. This is a tip that you can, it's basically a, a reducer for a little small tip that you can go into a larger. I oh, can't do that one. It's too large. I don't remember which one it is. It might be. that if you want to use a smaller tip instead of the larger tip um, some of these they screw together though there's allen keys in here um, extra pieces for my mechanicals screws this is basically all the stuff in here is all the little seal kits that came with each one of my rdas because they do come with seal kits each one of them should come with a seal kit 
and then this side is just tips and coils that I made that I haven't used yet. Um, and I have a lot of different size tips in here. That one. Uh, these are the buildables. Like I was um, explaining on Justin Dow's live stream, um, he was. Uh, we we're talking about vape stuff at the very end of the live stream. So you can get a regular coil that comes pre-made, or you can buy these that look like the pre-mades, but um, they they unscrew. And basically this turns a pre-made, you see I have a coil in there right now. This basically turns a pre-made coil style system for a tank, like one of these tanks, into a RDA style where you can actually make your own coils, put your own cotton in, slide this over, lock it down, and you have your own coils and everything else so these are are nice and handy if you want to make your own but you don't necessarily want an RDA style so this will give you in the realm of making RDAs and, and learning how to make an RDA but you can put it in your tank um, tanks you have to be very um, particular on some tanks um, this one right here is actually a pre-made. And I have two make my own in here. You do have to be very careful. Um, you have to know ohms. Um, you have to know how to calculate ohms on what wattage you wanna run. You don't wanna run 150 watts on a coil that only runs 30 watts. Um, you'll burn the coil, you'll end up not liking the way it tastes. Um, so these are just some of the RDAs I have. This ring goes to this Buddha. Um, but I have a couple other tanks. I actually have the silver version of this smock TFV4. Um, I have this the regular original silver version. Um, I think it's over on my table. Um, I also have I also have this Addy three and I also have this thirteen heavens and nine hells. That's what it actually says on it. Let me pick up the camera. 13 heavens, nine hells. This one, I really like this one. This one's a nice, a good RDA. I would recommend it if you, if you want to pick up an RDA. So, um, some RDAs don't have the availability like this is a four post. Um, this Buddha one and Buddha two are four posts. A lot of the smaller ones like these are three post. Um, the four post you can do a one coil or a two a dual coil. On a three post you can also do a one coil or a three coil a two coil like this one has two coils in it. Um, I don't necessarily normally take them apart. This one is a four post and it's got two coils on it. I basically what I did is I just, um, yeah, a lot of this one has four coils. This is a specialty style um, setup I did. I was curious if it would even work. Let me get some light. There you go. So it's one, two, three, and four. 
Um, this is a three post. I put four coils in it. I wanted to test it and play around. Um, it wasn't easy. Well, that's a better view right there. So you can do anything you like. Um, you can do clapped in coils if you want or specialty um, wound coils where they're, they're actually like braided if you wanted to. Um, this one has two coils in it. No cotton. Some of them I just coiled and I just never put the cotton in them because I stopped vaping. Um, if you guys have any particular questions, please don't hesitate to, to ask. This is, most of these RDAs have breathing ports on the side. You can block out how much air you want and how little you want. Um, this one actually has copper posts. I do prefer the copper post ones, but not all of them have copper posts. This one has this tank. I would recommend if you're looking for tanks, I would recommend getting a tank that has breather ports like this one. Because the worst thing about tanks that like this one, this tank has no breather option on the outside. So there's no way to make it hit harder or get more flavor out of it because it doesn't have the availability. Or this one, you can see actually you can change how many of the holes are open at one time. It's got several adjustments. This one right here, this um, sub tank plus has the same thing. You can turn it to just a couple dots. You can turn it to the larger dots. Or you can turn it to like a dot and a small portion of the bar or the whole bar. Um, the smock TFV4s do the same thing. You can lock the how much air comes into the tank. Um, this one also does it. This is a UD. Does the same thing. So I would find tank good tanks that are adjustable. This is a crappy tank. Um, this is a Mimi V iClear 30S. That's what it is. This worked well when I was only spending like. $50 a month or whatever on vape stuff when I got into the RDAs and the larger tanks that's when I went for the m more expensive stuff a lot of my tanks are um, they have glass tubes this one is a buildable Actually made I bought the the coil for this one or the the buildable system for this one so you just twist it out this is the buildable I actually made my own coils in this one I can actually get some light there you go there's some actual cotton in there to it's, it's a single post or dual post you know for the coil a single coil setup you can get these pretty cheap 20 bucks for like two of them 30 40 50 bucks if you know if they're expensive brands like the smock smocks I think these buildable coil sets are um, like 20 30 dollars for one on this one you basically just thread it into the base lock it down and then these teeth right here there's threads on them basically just thread the whole tank on some of the tanks are a lot easier to clean than others um, can do a video about cleaning if you're doing gonna go buy a good tank or a good RDA how often you should clean um, when you shouldn't clean some of these RDAs and tanks like this one doesn't have a removable bottom but this one actually has a removable screw. You can replace the screws in the bottom, the contact voltage screws. Um, so that's gonna be 
about it. I have other ARDAs. I got another probably five or six of them around here somewhere. I don't know where my silver tank is. When I find it, I will do a video on it and I'll bring out the rest of them again. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon um, if you want to see future updates. And uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll see you around. Peace.